Hello everyone and welcome back to Amori. We're doing some of the uh, dino dig to get the pyramid key so we can go to the top and get the special items up on top. So, realistic <laughs> bunnies. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god. Fucking Photoshop bunnies. Um, okay, that's, that's actually, that's really funny. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, with all the like cartoon fluff ball bunnies that have been running around this area, actually, shh. Oh God, Aub Aubrey became toast again. <laughs> that rabbit's dynamite. <laughs> These enemies are badass. It's like, it is the rabbit. It's the, the frickin... third dimension offers untold uh, cosmic powers. I mean, according to Culex, that's correct. <laughs> you know what I've always, what I've always, always found like a bit weird about Final Fantasy, um, about Final Fantasy games, after the point where um, being KO'd actually just meant being knocked out rather than dying because they didn't want to negotiate the problems of Phoenix Downs actually being able to bring people back to life. The only exception being the first two Yeah. Games. Like, you just straight up died. Yeah. It, well, in those, they're just copying Dragon Quest, where in Dragon Quest you actually yeah. die. Um, yeah, and then you go get a priest to revive you Dungeon and Dragon style. The, um... Yeah. yeah. The, uh... The, the the thing about those is though that like I've never I've never really understood why um, games can have that justification for being KO'd and still require you to use an item to revive your party member after a battle ends. What the fuck? This is the only thing equivalent to a liquid metal slime in the game. If a you beat it, you get a, a. If you beat it, you get a, a chicken. Yes. If you beat it, you get a special item for I think Kel. But it runs away, so. Uh, These things are always assholes. Every video game, they're in, like, oh. almost every uh, RPG. They're always assholes. Um, Enemies that run away the moment that, that you give them yeah. a chance. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's that, but, like, and then they're also always, like, really good for when you do kill them. Like, it's always a pain in the ass. The only one I can think of is, like... Pokemon Black and White Audinos, uh, I think is what it were. Because those are actually yeah. just, like, super easy to farm. And at certain level thresholds, they can't even hurt you. So it's just, like, they're giving away free experience points. Uh, not the kind of same thing, though, because they don't run away. Not um, exactly, but they are, like, they yeah. are similar to the uh, rare encounter lots of experience points kind of enemy. Um, yeah, like... The silver, like the metal slime, is like the go-to example. I I also think of those fucking cats and. Octopath. Is this the rabbit from the Monty Python sketch? I mean, yeah, yeah, I made the reference earlier, but that, that was a white rabbit. This is the regular rabbit. Final Fantasy really doesn't have anything like that. I can, the only thing I can think of that's close is the Final Fantasy IV pink uh, ice cream scoops. It depends. Like it depends on the Final Fantasy, um, because some Final Fantasies, uh, that's the Cactar. The Cactar is normally it runs away and it gives high XP yields. It's, no, it's not so much that it's it, they run away. They're really hard to hit uh, because their evasion is max. Well, that's yeah. another thing that's uh, like the the traditional Dragon Quest version is that those guys have max defense. So you either do one oh or holy or shit, yeah. this this rabbit's angry. It started the battle <laughs> angry. <laughs> Do you guys, like, if you're playing a game like that, do you go out of your way to farm those kinds of guys? Or Yes. yes. Okay. Especially in uh, Final Fantasy VI. It sixes. really depends. I am grinding cactars because cactars are very easy to kill once you know. They're uh, in Final uh, Fantasy VI? How yeah. rare are they? In one area only. They're, they're, well, they're only in one area. Uh, a desert south of Miranda in the world of Ruin. Okay, so that's probably why I never um, found them. Because I, I didn't and, know Normally, they're very hard to hit because they're again, like I said, the evasion is really high. But if you have the sniper sight relic, you're guaranteed to hit them. And if you have like the Atma weapon, which ignores defense, uh, you one shot them every single time, and they give ten magic points, which is the max you can get in any battle. And those are the things that upgrade the espers. Magic sight. The okay. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. So yes, I am, and they and they don't give experience, so you don't you don't risk over leveling. You just it's just. Free magic, essentially. I always forget how breakable that game is. But yeah, that game is made in two years ago. It was made in only a year. That's not that uncommon for RPGs of that time. Uh, many of them had uh, development cycles under tw uh, 24 months. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, 
at around that time, mid to late 90s, two years was considered a long development cycle for a game. Believe it I or think not. Development cycles like Kingdom Hearts 3 or The Last of Us or other games like that would be considered like absurd to people of that time. But when you, you know, when you're in the modern gaming industry and you're relying on one huge game to cover your your profits, then it makes more sense. Oh, is this the boss? Of the forest, yes. It's funny, it's like, we ran into some sort of eldritch abomination earlier and everyone was reasonably afraid. And here's this large ass centipede-esque thing that's made of the corpses of a bunch of other little things. And it's just every fucking day here. It's neutral. <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. Aubrey's just pissed off and done with this shit. <laughs> and uh, Omori down there, he's just like, Ugh, uh, I, I don't even care right now, you know? It's still so weird to me that he just has, like, a knife. Like, in the, the fantasy world, what do you choose to have as your weapon? You know, you could have a magic sword or you could shoot laser beams. It's like, I, what do you have there? A knife! No! <laughs> Excellent. Well, I mean, you know, four times backstab. <laughs> well, when you say it like that. <laughs> Sorry, that was, a, that was a slow burn. So, yeah, we're at the Sprout Mole Village. Oh, no. The home of, the, the home of these idiots. <laughs> Does she have a 2D side scroller picnic blanket where you can't see the blanket? Is that what's going on? I guess. I mean, I can see the basket. Man, I wish I lived in three dimensions so that I could see my picnic bl blanket. <laughs> I think it's just to highlight that it is a picnic basket. And picnic baskets, I recall, are save points or restoration they're, points. They're save points, yes. Yeah, so it's just to assure you, yes, that is a picnic basket. When you're in the real world, where can you save? Uh, would writing a journal count as saving? Well, I, I'm just like, I'm actually, I'm actually, like... I, I think Ted, like, means in the game. Like, oh, like, like when you're in the real world <laughs> in this game, like, when can you, where do you have to go so you can turn the game off and play something else? Uh, in the real world, there's also picnic baskets around. Oh, okay. So. Oh, so you're just barging in on someone else's picnic. Okay. Yo, buddy, I'm <laughs> taking this sandwich. Thanks. I like how there's a leaf there's a leaf shaped hole in the top of that door there. What? They're arguing about tofu. This game is bizarre, man. Like I can't think of a thing I would argue about less than tofu. <laughs> I just don't like the tofu is not supposed to be anything right like it's something that's supposed to make you think it's something so that you don't overeat right is that how it works I have no idea I don't really eat much tofu that, I don't eat tofu I, tofu just looks so unappealing well uh, it can be made it's into some it can be made into some yes. into some pretty good food but it's 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 not really appealing on its own okay so from what I can tell you don't, like, use it in the same spots, but it's similar to, like, a potato. In that, like, you're very rarely just going to eat a potato. But you can use potato as a vehicle for other shit. I think that's, like, supposed to be the point of tofu. Okay, I'm just going to read the Wikipedia article. Okay. On tofu. Tofu, is, tofu is an extra character in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> <laughs> tofu is a food prepared by coagulating soy milk and then pressing the resulting curds into solid white blocks of varying softness. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. I forgot how disgusting food is. <laughs> <laughs> how do we eat? <laughs> like. Oh, we push it in our mouth and then we shut it up. Oh, my God. I'm, I, I hate the thing is, like. You know, tofu is just the base form of a food that can be prepared in various ways. So, you know, you can make tofu into a food that doesn't look or smell or feel in the mouth like tofu. Yeah, like potatoes. 
well, most potato-based things still have potato texture. Uh, it depends on what you define as potato texture, because, like, um... Like, if you're doing, like, mashed potatoes, like, you can have that potato texture, but if you, like, put more butter and milk into it, then it becomes more creamy-ish. Or, like, if you're doing, like, a baked potato, like, it depends on how much sour cream or other... or like Also depends baked. on the potato, because yeah. Idaho potatoes hit... Oh, no, I'm not so bad. I, I, I don't but, like, russet potatoes hit different than red potatoes. Look, it... If you've ever eaten a French fry, you've noticed Ooh, the, cool the potato S. inside the fry. Okay, that's <laughs> that's basically what I'm saying. Um, whereas with with so with with tofu, you can go as far as to make like fake sausages out of it that 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 feel like sausages when you eat them. I can't believe that the cool S came from Amori the whole time. From a sprout bowl, no mess, no less. <laughs> what the. That's shit. normal. Optional boss fight. What the shit is this thing? What's that shit hanging from its mouth? Is that tofu? King carnivore. Oh no. It's a meat eater. Well, we're all safe. When we <laughs> die, we just become <laughs> toast. That's good. <laughs> I was going to be a little more existential, so we're not actually here. <laughs> Well, I mean, it must suck being a carnivore in this world where everything that you might want to eat turns into bread when when it dies. It's really hard to lose weight, too. Everything yeah, like, carbs. the carbs are <laughs> crazy high in this area. And, like, let's be honest, who actually wants to go to the gym? Am I right? I just can't be bothered. That's why I do yoga. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't get why I would pay someone money to lift up a heavy I think, block and then put it No, down. I think the idea is if you're taking the effort to go to a different location, it's easier to put the effort in because if you're doing things from home, it's easy to just like, ah, I'm home, I'm just going to fucking relax now. Yeah, I know that like many treadmills and weightlifting sets at home just become glorified drying racks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that and they're also like super expensive and it's just easier to pay $10 a month to go use someone else's. Well, many of these things have become like uh, not subscription, but renting models like the Pelotons all have rental plans. So you're not you're not paying. Uh, also, it depends on your living situation. Like in my yeah. case, I rent a room on someone's second floor. I can't lift weights up here. I have a weight set. I can't use it <laughs> because uh, they would hear me through the floor, and the homeowner would be worried about me damaging the floor. And yeah. it's a freaking wood panel floor. So you know, well, I would nice uh, I would damage the floor. <laughs> so I uh, know I don't exercise in here. I have to go to the gym. Or go out for a run at the very least. Oh, you see, that's another thing. Who wants to run? Did the carnivore just spray us with happy gas? Yes. I just pictured Aubrey smiling like a maniac as she punched the man-eating plant. <laughs> so when we he heal ourselves... Oh my heals god, them. Amori is smiling! Yeah, it's kind of creepy, actually. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> you messed with the natural order. <laughs> what, what is energy release, by the way? See, see I'm, I'm surprised you focused on that because I was focusing on trip. And I thought, like, wait, what kind of trip? Are we talking, like, stumbling forward or are we going to get high? Because it looks like everyone's already high. I do need to get a copy of this game. It, it goes on sale somewhat frequently. Well, we, we, we asked for but the, the but to reiterate, it is available on Steam. Is it on the Switch too? It's on Steam, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Okay, what I want to know is if it's on GOG. That I don't know. Well, I don't I, know I'll, I'll just fucking have. gift you the game at that point, Louis. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's on GOG, it might be in the New Year's sale. Is why I'm is why I'm looking it up. Oh, I see. New Year's sales still going in February. Yeah, it ends on the sixth. I mean, you might look at the date and think it ends it it ends on like the second of fucking May, but that's only because Gog does that does that European date ordering thing and doesn't yeah. change the order based on region. Let's see. Okay, Amori. No results found. Uh, 
Damn it. I remember all of the memes uh, back when Smash 3DS was coming out. Uh, cause I think in, um, it came out like March something, like March 9th. And so in September, people were like, oh man, Europe already's got it. You're her to her to her. What does release ang release energy do though? Isn't that like the super bar at the bottom? Yeah, that's the super bar at the bottom. If you get... It all the way up to 10, you can release energy and do a team super attack. Oh, I see. So it's like your typical limit break esque situation, thing. yeah. It's really funny how many games have just, like, even to this day, have still just kind of kept that kind of system in. Um, like, just like a. Oh, I, I feel it's a very cathodic mechanic. Like, well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good mechanic. I'm not saying yeah. that it's bad. I'm just. Typically, you see trends come and go in. RPGs like earlier RPGs typically were more likely to have some sort of class or job system um, that tended to fall out of favor more in once you got to the PS1 PS2 era where it was more about like big stories and whatnot um, and it's just it's funny to see what endures and what doesn't in that like limit break uh, esque mechanics are just very natural it's like it's something pretty it's something to like build towards in the battle and it adds its own like little mini not a mini game but like a little mini tension so it's just, it's just it's neat to see what continues and what doesn't the other thing is that like limit breaks happened and then games tried to find alternatives to limit breaks but all the alternatives were like too too much trouble to bother with so they kind of just like reverted back to using basic limit break bars and shit. Yeah, pretty much. Like, because you you'll see like games in the the two thousands and uh, late nineties, basically just copying limit ba breaks. Because you know why fix what isn't broken, and then you see them doing weirder stuff as you go out, and then shifting back to God more like limit breaks later on. God, Amori is a, it, Amori is ecstatic. It's 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 creeping me out. He looks Subarashi. He looks fucking looking to eat the fucking shit out of that plant. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, he kind of looks like it. This boss fight seems annoying because it seems like he keeps healing himself. Oh, now they're forward. manic. Holy fuck! I didn't know the emotions could get that high. Yeah, Mori's the only one who can go to a third tier emotion. Oh. Well, what does Happy do again? Happy raises your crit chance at the cost of your accuracy. Oh. So it's fury status. Uh, so yeah, you haven't seven. been able okay. to like even do damage to him, pretty much. Yeah, Amori's been whiffing a lot. But the moment he lands a hit, <laughs> it's going to make up for like three previous misses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to break the root so he stops healing himself? Yeah, basically. Oh, so you kill the flunkies and deal with the main boss. A typical design. Yeah. Does the do the flunkies regenerate after a time? No, I don't think so. Okay. I like how Aubrey is the only one who's able to keep going. To <laughs> Guys, keep... <laughs> does anyone else fucking see this? <laughs> <laughs> She's just done with this guy's shit. Angry is just the straight up damage buff, right? Yes, at the cost of lower defense. Right. And they have like a rock, paper, scissors, fire emblem triangle. Yeah. So what's the, so if Manic is like the, 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 the upper echelon of like happy emotion, what's on the uh, opposite end? Is it just depressed or something like that? Or? Yeah, d d depressed is the highest form of sadness, I think. And I forget what it is for, uh, for, uh, angry. Yeah. I think it's Furious and one other. <laughs> Fucking livid. Hero became Toast, or is that Cal? That was Cal. Okay. Are Cal. there different levels of Toast? No, they're just Toast. <laughs> I like how the Toast got a cookie and it just didn't do anything. <laughs> because Toasts can't eat cookies, apparently. Uh... 
Yeah, with the super attack, we took out the last of the root, and we did a good chunk of damage to King Carnivore, so... I think we're doing pretty good for the level we're at. You're meant to come here later. This is a optional boss, you said, right? Yes. This certainly is the most involved fight you've done in, so far in the whole game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so there's happy, there's ecstatic, there's manic, there's sad, depressed, there's miserable. That's the that's the uh, worst one uh, for sad. Angry, it's furious. And that's all I see, and I'm not going to scroll down anymore because I don't want anything to spoil for me. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. And whack. <laughs> What do you get for winning this fight? Uh, shit ton of experience and the items behind the boss. Okay, so you never have to come come here. You never have you never have to do this now. Okay. Yeah, again, it's an optional challenge. You do it because I do love you the, can, can. Uh, some optional bosses in video games. Uh, I just like finding stuff, and then that just adds to the world. I guess. Yeah. You know that you have you ever played Final Fantasy V? I played like the first four hours of Final Fantasy V, and then I got to a desert and died. Um, <laughs> uh, there was like a, like a chimera thing, I think, killed me. Oh, yeah. You probably got Aqua Breath memed. Uh, yeah, probably. I think I got like one of the crystal-y things. Um, so yeah. I got like one set of jobs. Five and is... Not, so not so much of that, but in terms of like this optional encounters, five is full of that shit. Uh, and it's one of my favorite things about that game, just in terms of like exploring the world, because there's literally almost s something everywhere in the world that you can challenge yourself with. I should probably try it at some point because I hadn't played. I wasn't anywhere near as good at RPGs. I played that when I was like, I think like 17. Yeah. So, play the uh, Pixel Remaster. Play the Pixel Remaster? Yeah. Which version? Console. The Pixel Remaster. No, yeah, but they finally updated the PC version to have the console benefits. Oh, nice. Yeah, so now you don't have to double dip. But if you did, That's Square Enix just file, just just smiles. <laughs> 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 Fucking fell for it. That's like, like, don't don't fall for FOMO, guys. I'm serious. Like, don't fall for FOMO. That's exactly what they they knew exactly what they were doing. I hope you didn't double dip. 